GVB President and CEO Carl Gutierrez says they had good, positive feedback when visiting with officials from the large Shizuoka prefecture. They're so excited that, uh, that United decided to start flying twice a week again. We're going to try to bring that up to at least four flights a week when it was back in the heyday. Because it's a big city that, 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 that takes the whole of Kyushu, and there that's the hub of the southern island. He also met with officials from Spring Airlines Japan, a low-cost carrier owned by Chinese and Japanese investors. He's encouraging them to consider direct Guam flights instead of waiting for China to open up. Guterres says they've taken the initial steps for certain FAA certifications, and he's hopeful the airline could start Guam service by next March. Korea has six or seven low-cost carriers. That's what's filling up our, our tourism here. That's how they beat Japan last time. So we're trying their other airlines that are low-cost carriers for Japan, and that's our focus right now. That's my focus, at least, and the airport, too. So Japan is going to start coming back like gangbusters. But with the uptick in arrivals, there's concern on the ground about a past problem that could discourage tourists, long lines at immigration. Guterres says they're now monitoring this and plan to meet later this month in Washington, D.C. with CBP and Transportation Department officials. Once we go there, we're going to talk about the lines moving faster. For KOM News, I'm Nestor Leconto.